Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Really? You're starting already? So I'm gonna do a little makeup. This is not going to be like any beat face, lashes. I mean, I don't really think that's why they're here. Um, it's just gonna be like a simple everyday makeup look. I need to run to Walmart. <laughs> that's about the most exciting part of my day other than filming. Um, Ow. So I'm just going to do like a very just regular makeup, but I do have a few new products that I want to try out. I got these guys in the mail today from Jouer. Look. These are their new Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. So we're definitely going to play with these when it comes time to do some powder. So beautiful. They look so pretty, like little works of art. So I do want to try those guys out. I have a new highlighter palette that I've been using, but I've never used it with you guys on camera. I don't think it's the Glow Getter from Private Society Cosmetics, which is a brand that had just sent a few things over. I don't know much about the brand, but it almost reminds me of those, um, what are those clubs that you can go to, but you have to have like a code and then it looks like a barber shop, but they open a door and it's like a nightclub. Oh, what are they called? Um, it'll come to me at some point, but I'll pop it up on the screen. So it reminds me of that. It's like a brand where you have to have like a code or something. If you go to Private Society Cosmetics, you can get more info. My camera's focusing over there. What are you doing? But this is amazing. The powders are so like glossy and amazing. So I wanna use that with you guys on camera. Also, before we get started, one little story, my friend Kelsey, who owns Skull House Designs, sent this amazing white t-shirt over. It had this little guy on the pocket, right here. So cute, I loved it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear that in my video. So I put it in the dryer, because it was wrinkled, and the corner of this thing got caught in like the dryer vent, and it like pulled half of it off. So I snipped the rest of it off of the shirt, and now I have to try to sew it back on. I'm not good with a needle and thread, but listen, maybe I'll do it with you guys on Snapchat. But yeah, my poor little shirt. But thank you so much, Kelsey. I love this shirt. It has like little rips on it, which is so my kind of thing. I have a new primer to try out. The new First A Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. So I have not worn this on my face, but I have swatched it and it feels like super smoothing. I'm just gonna take like that much. I think I may have gotten too much. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, by the way, my hair was wet, so that's why it looks like this. Oh, this smells like heaven. Oh, it smells so good. God, it smells like cucumber melon. Oh, bitch, I want some more. Just a little bit. Oh, this feels amazing. Oh, I really like that. Wait, my display is on. Oh, I fixed it. Imagine that. I do have a new foundation to try out, but I actually want to do like a full wear test, like first impression on this, the new Confidence in a Foundation from IT. So I'm not gonna use this today. I'm gonna use my say it with me, L'Oreal Freshwear, I can't stop using it. I, I officially have a problem. I'm gonna use 460 today. I think this will be okay. My self tanner's like half on, half off. It's not pretty. I've been using, I've been loving this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm gonna mix medium and light. This is medium. Such a good color. I love it. 
just a little light to brighten. If you guys haven't tried this concealer, which I feel like everyone has, this is like a cult favorite. It's so good. I love it. And then I take my NARS um, Radiant Creamy, nope, uh, Soft Matte Concealer in Custard with this little baby Makeup Forever brush, the 202. And I just do my blemishes. I like to use a little pointed brush and just put the concealer on the blemish, not like everywhere. I don't know, I just find it looks more natural that way and it also covers better. Okay, a little a little eye primer, then we can move on to powder. Oh, and that's the one I'm using, my Smashbox. I'm an old faithful. Do you guys like this nail polish? It's OPI, my paprika is hotter than yours. It's so like orangey red, I love it. Coral, oh yeah. Mm -mm. I'm wondering if I should try this powder like on my entire face, like under eyes and everything. So this is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. This is the light shade, I dug my nail into it on Snapchat. Should I use this on my entire face? What do you guys think? I wish you could answer me. Wait, I need a wipe. I hate when there's foundation on my lips. Look at that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use this on my entire face. <gasps> I'm scared. What if I hate it? Okay, okay. So that's light. I'm using a Wayne Goss 02. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Look what I got. My aunt got me this for my birthday. It's a simple human. Oh, baby. It's so cute. Look. It's, oh, God. It's so magnified. Like, do I really want to sit? Do I really want to see myself that close? What is wrong with you? I love how I'm not even using the mirror. It's just here. <laughs> This powder looks pretty. Usually I don't use a pressed powder on my entire face, but hey, we're just trying it out. It looks really good. I like it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look heavy at all. Huh, okay. Oh my god, I just discovered that I can turn it off. I didn't think I could. Look, I got it all dirty. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Yay. Ooh, that powder looks really pretty. Mmm, not bad. You ain't not bad, girl. So I'm going to put on a little bit of Fix Plus. This is actually Fix Plus. It's in a ColourPop container with a cover of Fix Lid. Don't ask questions, people. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Jacqueline, what? Okay, I'm gonna go do my brows and do my hair because I can't deal with myself any longer. I'll be right back. <laughs> my brows are still in stage one. We have like three stages, so listen, don't judge them just yet, sister. Don't. My brows look atrocious. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, so I have this guy from e.l.f., the new Classics eyeshadow palette. So we're going to dip into this, but I'm doing something very, very basic. 
We're just here to chit chat, okay? This is not about the look. This is about our love for each other. I honestly don't know if this palette is any good. I've only like swatched it and kind of played a little bit. I'm gonna take Truffle in the crease. It doesn't seem too powdery or anything. That's good. Oh, that's nice. That's not bad. I'm curious to see how the metallics are. Yeah, that's all right. A little bit more truffle. I was just watching Jeffree Star's video about getting a tattoo at the worst rated tattoo shop. And I have to say the way that um, Nicole, Lipstick Nick, the way that she was like looking out for him actually like melted my heart. That's very sweet. Because you know, a lot of people that are as famous as Jeffree Star have like yes men around them that just say yeah do this do whatever you want yeah 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 like they would never say listen I don't feel comfortable with you doing this I think that's super admirable of her she's a cool chick I met her once years ago she was super sweet not like those mean girls I met that night that I met Amrizi I swear that scarred me for life okay um, now, ooh, that's a little powdery. I'm gonna take my L&Y brush and I'm gonna dip into Darling, which is just a little bit deeper. And just put this up here. We'll just deepen up the crease a little bit. I feel like everything is gone from my brush already though. These powders, I mean these eyeshadows are a little bit powdery, but they seem to be blending okay. Well, did you guys see uh, previews for Pet Cemetery? I've never seen the original one, but I really want to see it. Tara said I have to watch the original one first. All right, so I'm gonna take rose gold on my lid and then I might take one of these like um, super light shades to do like a little pop in the center. Ooh, this one would be good for a little pop in the center glamour. That one's very pretty. I am gonna use a base because I always use a base and that's just how it is. I'm taking my glitter base from Too Faced. All over my lid. Oh, that looks promising. I got my Botox last week, so like my lids, you get the, almost that like drop brow. So I have to like, blink, pull my freaking lid up. All right, that's actually really pretty. It's a little oranger than I wanted it to be, but it's nice and vibrant. I am going to take a little of that glamour shade that I showed you and just, I want to lighten this up a little. It's a little bit orangier than I wanted it to be. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty. I mean, this is supposed to be like my everyday makeup. So have you guys seen any good movies recently? You all know that I'm hooked on A Star Is Born. That movie changed my life. Um, Tara and I went to the movies the other night and we saw Us um, from the producer or director of Get Out, Jordan Peele. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of Get Out. I thought it was good, but it was just okay. Like, it, it was all right. It was entertaining. Tara really liked it, though. 
So she really wanted to go see us and I'm like, I'll go with you. I really ended up liking us and I didn't think I was gonna like it because I wasn't like crazy about Get Out. Lapita Nyong'o, I think that's how you say her name. She is such an amazing actress. I mean, she's no Gaga. <laughs> Nobody's Gaga, but she was really good in the movie. And like the meaning behind the movie, like that, well, I mean, it's kind of what you make it to be, the meaning, you know, what you take from it. But, like, Tara and I on the way home had this, like, discussion about the meaning and what we took from the movie. And it really makes you think about, like, society and stuff like that. So, it was pretty cool. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Okay. I think that looks good. So, I'm just going to take my little crease brush and just do one of these just to make sure that we're not messy because I'm like talking and going and trying to hurry because I need to get to Walmart before it's like midnight. All right, I'm just going to take Costa Riche in my waterline. Oh, I just sharpened this and it's like super sharp. Did I tell you guys I started using Latisse again? Remember how long my lashes were when I used it before? I'm back on it. I've been using it for about, ow, I've been using it for about a week. So I'm ready for some long lashes again. I didn't really have many side effects from it. My lash line did get a little bit like discolored. They call it like hyperpigmentation, but it just looked like discoloration to me. And it went away as soon as I stopped using it. Like my eye color didn't change or anything like that, but I have very dark eyes. I can't believe that my daughter is going to be going to college. Like, that makes me very, very sad. Ah, that just, like, popped into my head, and I'm like, no! She's like my little roll dog. She does everything with me. Okay, on my lower lash line, I'm taking Darling, that shade that I put in my crease, and I'm just going to run it. Ooh. That blended really nicely. Look at that. It's, like, blended already. I like this little palette. And I like the greens that are in here. Hang on, I'll show you in a second. They're very, very pretty. And there's a pretty purple too. Oh no, I like this a lot. The more that I use it, the more that I'm liking it. Look at that, that's a good lower lash line. I swear I was doing like basic makeup and now I'm doing like a smoky lower lash line. Oh. This is still pretty basic. <laughs> Bitch, you basic. But look, there's like pretty pinks. These greens down here I think are really pretty. This is a nice little palette. I think it was like $10. I'm gonna take the shade Blanc on my inner corner with this little Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush, JH42. I love this for the inner corner. Ooh, that kind of looks like nylon from MAC. Oh, damn. That is like vibrant. It's a little white. Might add something on top of it. I'm going to add a little bit of Cosmo on top of it just to take that like whiteness away. Oh, yeah, there we go. I like this palette. It's good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, let me curl my lashes. We'll throw some mascara on. I do think I like that Jouer face powder though. And these are Shiseido um eyelash curlers. They're I've been using Shiseido ones forever. I don't think I could ever use anything else. These just fit my eye. I've tried to use Tarte ones and they just don't fit my eye right. Like my eye is too like sunken in. <laughs> I have like deep set eyes. And these lashes on my left have been giving me trouble. I have to like really curl them. They, I don't know what's up, but 
They've been playing themselves. They're growing like straight out and I cannot get them to hold a curl. It is so annoying. I don't know if I tried this mascara with you guys yet. The Dangerous Lengths from Milani. We're gonna try it today. Ooh, I don't think I tried this one. Look at that crazy wand. Let's see if it's any good. I feel like I may have used this one on Snapchat, but I don't remember how I felt about it. Um, I feel like it's given me some length, but, oh wait, maybe I like it. Hold up. My lashes have been so pathetic. Can't wait till this Latisse starts working. Um, I don't know. Maybe the second coat will really amp them up. I've never had luck with Milani mascaras, but I love them as a brand. I do like how it's making my lashes look fluffy, but it's not giving me any volume. I guess it is called Dangerous Lengths, so I can't really complain about not having volume. Why do you guys think the lashes on this side have suddenly started growing like straight out? They never did that before. They would always curl just fine. So weird. And it has nothing to do with the Latisse. This has been going on for like months. It just started, I would say like four, three months ago. And it's progressively gotten worse. It's very frustrating. Totally first world problems, but hey. We're in a first world crunch. Good job, Nicole. Uh -huh. I'm really good at this. If you haven't noticed. What do you guys want to see from me? Can you tell me down below? Like, do you want... I know recently I've been doing, like, basic makeup, but it's just what I wear every day. Like, I'm not, like, a full, you know, super heavy makeup, lashes, bake. That's, like, not me. So I feel like if I do that all the time, like, it, it, it's not me. And I feel like you guys don't really come here for the makeup looks. Because nothing revolutionary is happening in these parts. Um, You guys come for, like, the fun and the... The banter and the, um, I do give good reviews on makeup. I will give myself that. Like, I am very honest with you guys. And not every channel can say that. I'm very honest with you guys. Whether it's an affiliate product, like, like Jouer sent me these powders. If I didn't like these powders, I would be like, you guys, I don't really like these powders for myself. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean that they're not good powders. So I don't feel the need to like lie about a product. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I love it, I love it. It doesn't matter where it came from. And I feel like in this day and age, that doesn't happen a lot. There are a lot of channels that are truthful, but there are also a lot of channels that just want to make money. And yeah. So, I mean, you guys might not be coming here for the revolutionary makeup looks, but bitch, I can review the balls off of a product. Like, I know good makeup when I see it. Um, even though I have mascara all over my face right now. It's okay. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna kind of scrape it off. I do need to fluff around with my brows a little. I'm using my Precisely My Brow because my Urban Decay Brow Blade is empty and I am dying without it dying without it. I made chicken corn soup today and I cannot wait to go up and eat some. I'm so hungry. I do want to take some of that Blanc shade that I put on my inner corner. Just put a little bit right up here. And then I will go over it with whatever highlighter I use to kind of make sure it's blended out. Ooh, that, I really like this little palette. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's really good. Very inexpensive and nice quality. Can't always find that with drugstore eyeshadows. Not drugstore in general, but drugstore eyeshadows, very hit or miss. Very, very hit or miss. Okay, 
whatever. Let's move on. Take me to church. Let's finish up this face. Where's my bronzers? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I uh, rearranged a little. These new Morphe bronzers are freaking amazing. This one is Megastar. But today I'm going to use Icon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my little 118, no, 112 brush from Smith. There's like no powder. They're so nice. They're like hard pressed, but you get good payoff. I love these. I've been raving about these. They're so good. I like this one also because it's matte, but it has just the tiniest hint of not even luminosity. It's just like a little bit of life to it. It is so nice, and the formula is perfect. It's buildable and just, oh, don't let chance. Now I'm going to use something that was actually in my shop, my stash, which I will put in a card. So this is Sun Bunny from... Sun Bunny from Too Faced. And it is beautiful. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Just to warm everything up. For blush, I have this new LA Girl blush palette, Island Hottie. Believe it or not, I don't think I've tried this one yet. Mm, this shade looks so good. Not too powdery either. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. I like it. That's very pretty. A little bit on my nose so I look a little sun-kissed, even though there's no sun in B8 ever. And then for highlighter, I do have two blush palettes as well. Um, this is the Moonlight Magic Highlighting Palette. This one is Sunlight Sensation. Which one do I want to use? I probably should mix these two because I'm a little pale today. I'll show you the other blush palette in a minute. A little powdery. More powdery than the um, blush. Ooh, wait, that's very pretty. There's like fallout and little powder bits everywhere over my vanity. So these are definitely a little powdery. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, it is definitely more powdery than I would like it to be. But um, the blush palette was super nice. So this one is Island Hottie. And then this one is Blushed Babe. Blushed Babe Island Hottie. So Island Hottie has some like, um, like luminous shades in it. And this one is more on the matte side. Oh, I had this new Wet n Wild blush too. Let me just add a little bit. Just a little bit. This one is called... Keep it peachy. It's very pretty. Ooh! She is soups powdery. <laughs> oh my God. I 
Hey, use we... Huh? <laughs> I can't talk. We used a lot of drugstore stuff today. That's kind of, um... Wait, did we use all drugstore stuff? Did we? <gasps> we did! Okay, moving on to lips. I want to try one of these new Morphe lip liners. This one is called Backseat Love. It's very pretty. Ooh, this color is good. And then I'm gonna use this uh, Wet n' Wild Mega, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Sun Nudes. I love this. It's like a lip lacquer, but not thick and goopy. I totally forgot to try this with you guys. So let's put some on top. Mm. I think I'm gonna dip into these two. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, Beyonce. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for me today. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. I had to put makeup on anyway, so I thought we could do it together. I think I really like this primer. My foundation looks really good. Now, this L'Oreal Infallible always looks good, but it looks like really, really good. Ooh. It looks like very... Uh-oh. Hold on. It looks like very natural and like, I don't know, it looks really good. I've been using it with the um, Tatcha Silk Canvas, but ooh, I really, really like it with this one. So that was a hit. The eyeshadow palette was really nice. The only thing that I really didn't love was the Dangerous Lengths Mascara. I just really can't build this up. I want some Vavoom. Give me the Vavoom. The LA Girl blush palettes were good. The highlighter palette was, it was very powdery. Like there, I wish you could see my vanity. There's just like powder everywhere. So that was a little bit powdery, but I'm telling you guys, if you need a new highlighting palette and there's no sponsorship in this video, you guys know I would tell you. This Glow Getter one from Private Society Cosmetics. I know nothing about the brand, but I know that this is freaking amazing. Like, they're so, let me show you. They're so, like, glossy and amazing. Like, they feel like such high quality. Look at that. I'm telling you, they're really, really good. I was shocked because I'm like, who is this brand? Like, where did they come from? Also... I was watching Tati's video with Scott Barnes, who I love Scott Barnes. I think he is a total master. He is amazing. I've loved him for years. He was using this, and I was like, that's the palette that I love that nobody talks about. So, hey, if Scott Barnes approves it, bitch, <laughs> I definitely approve it. So, yeah, I'm going to hit the trail. I got to go to Walmart. Ugh. But um, let me know down below what you guys would like to see from me. Do you want more like individual reviews? Do you want more get ready with me's? Do you want like foundation first impressions? Do you want vlogs? Do you want me to venture out and do something different? I thought about doing like the worst rated, um, like going to a one star nail salon. I actually talked on, it had to have been Snapchat years ago, like two years ago, about doing something like that. It was when I got that really shitty white manicure and pedicure. Does anybody remember that? So um, I probably should have did it then because I would have totally been ahead of the game, but I didn't. 
So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. If not, thumbs it down, girl. It's okay. You can do whatever you like. I am not here to be your mother. I love you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye. I can't talk, Aaron, I'm filming. Stop calling me, you bitch. Ow, son of a toenail. That was my nose, that was my nose. Oh, that was my nose. Wait, I got a hair on my nose. Oh, yeah. Ow. <gasps> so, today we're going to do a good old-fashioned get ready with me. I swear in person, that contour looked perfect. That Murphy bronzer, when I put it on, it looked so, like, blended and amazing. And on camera, it looks patchy. Uh, it's not me, and it's not the bronzer. It's you, sir, Mr. Camera. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. You stupid bitch.